All right, welcome back to Blade District. Today, we're going to be unboxing a petrified fish. This is going to be the Mini Beluga. Got this off of White Mountain Knives. Very, very affordable. I think it's like $48.99 if I recall correctly. 2.99 inch blade, which will make it legal in some areas. It's a front flipper. I haven't had the best luck in front flippers. What I mean by that is I kind of suck at front flipping. Let's see. I think I have one right here, actually. The Kubi. It's a little bit bigger. And yeah, you know, I got a little bit better at it. It's kind of like you could either go completely sideways, which I realize is a little bit easier sometimes, like that. Or you can keep the thumb a little more like pinched up, but then you have to be careful with the meat of your hand. You can still do it. I got better as I started practicing, but this one being smaller, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit easier. Let's take a look at this. What do we have a box in a box, a box in a sleeve, all right. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you're interested in more knife content and upcoming giveaways. Take a look at that. You know what? This reminds me actually. I believe this knife comes from the factory with bearings, but they give you the option to put washers in them. Some folks like washers. You don't have to worry about as much grit. You don't have to worry about as much stuff getting in it and getting that gritty feeling. Looks like we got some extra hardware too. That's pretty cool. I'm Pretty impressed just by the packaging and what we're getting extra considering the price point. We're getting, I think it's, what is it? 14C28N steel, I believe. Little cleaning cloth. So this is, you know, for under 50 bucks. So far, you're getting a good amount of stuff. Now we can see how the blade looks, how it feels, how the action is. Let's move this over for now. Let's see, I'm excited for this. I've had this for a while and have not unboxed it. I've been staring at it, staring at the outside box. Here we go. Let's see, this one is the Black G10. Let's move this over a little bit. Black G10, which it's very smooth. I like it though. It's got a little bit of a texture, a textured look to it, I should say, because the feel is very, it's on the smoother side. We got the petrified fish logo pretty unique actually is that reversible yes it is it goes behind in between the scale and the liner i don't know if you could see but there's actually two holes on the other side and then i like how they did that because you can't even see it usually when you have a clip the other side kind of doesn't look complete so excuse me, doesn't look complete, so to say, but this one, it looks very complete because, you know, just from looking at it, you wouldn't even think it's reversible, but it is, it goes right back in there. Centering looks spot on, not the thinnest, but I gotta say, it feels and looks pretty thin. It looks like it's got some good, probably some good ratios as well. Super deep carry, you can literally see it popping up on this side. All right. Very unique front flipper design. Very smooth up here, I'll tell you that much. Just from rubbing my fingers across here, extremely smooth. So when you go to do this, and if you're just kind of rubbing across that, it's gonna feel really nice. All right, we're gonna do the front flipper first, and then we do have a fuller, which maybe, maybe we could do it. Let's see. Ready, set. Ooh, that is nice. Take a look at that blade. It's like a bead blasted almost. It's like a very smooth, dark satin bead blast almost. Got a little bit of oil on it to come out of there. Let's see the drop action. Okay, so the D10, I didn't get past it yet. So not the smoothest out the box. Let's try opening it again. I feel it's going to smooth out pretty quick, though. We got the Beluga. That reminds me of the Banter, which is funny because this is the Mini Beluga. They make a big Beluga, which is the normal one. And it says Beluga here. Just how the Banter, they have a baby Banter, and it says Banter. They kind of just use the same name. Let's see if we can flick it. Actually, one more time I want to open it because it's not the smoothest on the close. Very easy to open. If I could do it, and a lot of people can do it. Let's see, ergos, for me, with smaller hands, I can get kind of, yeah, just about a full four fingers on there, which is perfect. 
You have some jimping up here, but I do wish the jimping was eh, just a hair forward. It's not aggressive by any means at all. It's not super aggressive. I've never really tried to flick open a knife with a fuller like this. Let's see what happens. Wow. And I'm not lying. That was first and second time ever doing it with a knife like this. All right. I am impressed with the action of this. By opening action, I mean. Let's try. Um, so let's go with the kind of a complete sideways. Okay, that was a fail. Again, we're going to go a little bit like a sideways one. And then we're going to try a like kind of an angled forward because it is small. Keep your hands out of here. Both of them work fine. You know, kind of looking up and then going sideways is not the best. I'm just really surprised how good that fuller works for flicking. Can you do thumb? I don't even think I'm going to bother with that. I can't, I can't even get enough meat in there. How about like if I go all the way up here? That's going to be weird if I could do this. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. It like rolled out super slow. Yeah, so, yeah, come on, drop. I thought it would be a little bit smoother. Maybe it'll break in. Maybe it won't. I'm sure it will. It's on bearings. It's not the smoothest. Oop, hear my dog barking downstairs. Might have to cut this unboxing short, see what's going on down there. But I'm impressed with this. It feels good. It looks good. I wish the action was a little bit better. It feels very, very gritty. All right, like I was saying, I might have to cut this short because of my dogs down there barking. See what's going on. It feels good. With smaller hands, it's definitely a nice little knife. I may open it up and clean it. Possibly even try with the with the washers. It feels great. I don't feel the pocket clip that much. I do feel some like sharp edges back here, but not much. Feels pretty sharp out the box. I'll say that much. Let's see if we can get a close up on that. You could probably hear my dog barking down there. It's nice. And like I said, for comparison, the Kubi, it's going to be a lot smaller than a Kubi. Kubi's a lot bigger. And it's weird, like I was, I didn't really like this one as much. It was hard, but now I'm actually enjoying it. It is much smoother on the drop, as you can tell. Now that I'm able to open it better, it's actually pretty nice. But this one, it's not bad. I just feel like it's got to break in. Maybe I got to clean it. Come on. And I... Not gonna lie, I thought I would have been a little bit more impressed with the front flipper. I thought this one I would have liked better than this, and for some odd reason, I now like this one better. When I first got it, I hated this. I was like, I can't open it. Maybe it's the same with this. Maybe I just need some time. Who knows? You know, it's all about learning, getting the angle down. I do like the size of it, I'll say that much. And I do like the style the look of it, the blade, the shape, everything about it, ergos, it is nice. All right, so my dog is calling me down there. I'm gonna get going. We will try to possibly clean this. Maybe we can get it to drop a little bit easier. Yeah, because it's pretty rough. All right, so we're going to take this guy apart. This is the Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. I literally just unboxed it a couple minutes ago. I'm in the middle of recording the video, and I kind of cut it short. It's, I don't like that. It's just super gritty. It doesn't feel smooth. Is this smooth? Nah, it's not really smoothing out. It's just very, very gritty. Like right there, come on, this little bit of shake, it, it's not even moving, you really, you see that? For reference, I have the Kubi, I forget, KU something. Once it passes the detent, it just drops pretty smoothly. This guy on the other hand, it's very gritty, like it ain't moving right now. At all, like come on, get down there. And on top of that, the 
detent is, you know, if you, you saw that, that literally was a bounce. It will bounce if you push too hard, but if you don't go hard, and, okay, there, now it went down a little bit. Either way, we're going to quickly take them apart, clean them up a little bit, clean it and see what we can do. Let's see, does this guy want to come off already or no? I don't think so. I guess. Sorry, I don't know that. Hey, Alexa, stop it. <laughs> I didn't talk to you. I guess the way the pocket clip it works, if you don't, if you can see here, this pocket clip is completely reversible, but it goes in between like the liner and the scale. And then you got these two, which bolt up to here, but I'm assuming these two also bolt into there, therefore sandwiching this together. With that being said, I probably don't have to take the pocket clip side out, but since I already took the other ones out, we'll do it just in case. Okay, this is coming apart very, okay, so that's just the scale. Look at all of that oil. Maybe they just over oiled it. There we go. Let's see if we can see what's going on here. Well, it looks like there's a, yeah, there's a, you can see it on my fingers, a lot of oil. They might've just overdone it and it just got kind of gunky in there. You can see the residue that was left over from all the oil, they put a lot in there. So I don't know how long I've been talking to myself for because I didn't even notice that my camera decided to stop recording. I don't know if it stopped when I was doing the, uh, when I was putting it back together. I don't know. But what I was saying is it feels so much better now. If you remember what it was before, it would not drop at all. And now we're dropping with just a few shakes. So that is amazing. And the centering is holding up before it was kind of getting a little loose. Might be a, no, it looks pretty good. So it's looking pretty good. It feels really good. Like I was saying, this is what it should have came like out the box, but unfortunately it didn't. So we took it apart, put a little bit of uh, tough glide on it, cleaned the bearings. There was a ton, I mean a ton. Again, I don't know when the camera cut out, but there was a ton of, what do you call, just whatever they use for lubricating the system all over the place. When I first flicked it, there was some oil coming out of here. And when I took it apart with the bearings, there was just a ton of stuff everywhere. But now we went, put a little bit of Tough Glide on it. Now it's smooth, both open, closed. All right, so a quick final impressions on this. This is actually recorded the following day because my phone camera kept maxing out. Uh, basically this video is kind of like three videos in one combined. There's an unboxing, there's a disassembly, there's a right after the disassembly, and then today me just kind of explaining my final thoughts on it. Now, I initially said I thought I would have been a little bit more impressed with it when I got it out of the box. But I gotta say, after doing the cleaning to it, I'm much more impressed with it. The action just is night and day compared to out of the box. It's still not the most drop shutty, but now with a, a few little um, shakes, it will drop shut, which it did not do before. And right there, if you just notice, I didn't touch base on that during the first part of the video. This fuller right there, it's more than enough grippy 
to do a slow roll perfectly. You don't have to pinch it or anything. Just grab it and start rolling. It is completely perfect to do that. So that actually just made this knife, it kind of stepped it up a level for me. Because you have the reverse flick, which is pretty good actually. Very surprising. First time doing it like that. You know, first knife I should say that I had a fuller like that. The top flipper, although it's very small, I'm starting to get used to it. You can go completely sideways and it'll flip open with authority if you get it right. You can go in a little bit of an angle, since it is a smaller knife, you can go like this, a little bit more of like a top forward angle. Whoop, ready? Hold on. There you go. So you have, you know, when it comes to front flippers, you just gotta get used to them. I noticed rolling over the side is a little bit easier as I go and fail there. I'm still getting used to the front flippers. I only had one other one before, but I do like the action now on this. And I do like how you can slow roll it if needed. The action is becoming a lot better after doing the initial cleaning. Like I said, you could reverse flick it, slow roll it. You could thumb flick it. I did it, I think, before. It's not the best. It does fly out with authority if you do it right. And just overall, the blade shape, handle, the way it conforms to my hand, I really do enjoy it. Smaller hands here, but I still get a full four finger grip on it. This is gonna be a great little slicer. It, very unique the way they have the fuller and it kind of turns into what looks like to want to be a swedge up here and then kind of thickens out a bit before going back to the point. Don't know if I'm using those words in the proper lingo, but yeah, I'm impressed with it now. It did not flip like this out of the box, but after a cleaning, it's, uh, it's a lot better. And you can use this fuller if you want. You can keep it more down and still get it open, or you can kind of keep it higher and still open it. So it's very useful. You can do it in different ways. So that's gonna be about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you're interested in more knife content and upcoming giveaways. You can also check me out on Instagram at Blade District. Again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys in the next one.